Hello, this is Bini here. Um, today I want to discuss this very important question. How do you know that price is going to break a resistance? Or rather, how do you know that price will continue to move up? Alright, a lot of people will answer this is that you will continue to move up if a particular resistance is broken. Well, uh, my answer is not really this. I think that to know whether price can continue to go up, I need to see that price can get supported. So it's, it's a bit of a different way to understand this. For example, when you have a resistance, you expect that the resistance will be broken because that's a naturally a zone of supply, right? And then during that zone of supply, then you are likely to meet with a barrier there and price will continue to go up if that barrier had been broken. I assume that this is taken for granted, but I'm talking about then how do you know that price is going to break this resistance before it's being broken? Uh, my answer is that I need to see that it gets supported. That means that before it breaks, if ever it comes down from a particular resistance, then I need to see that price gets supported first. Now, for example, recently, uh, we saw that the Hang Seng market is moving very, very nicely. And one of the stocks, for example, Tencent, it's moving up very nicely. It met with a resistance right now. So it would be reporting very soon. The key thing is that I want to know whether this resistance is going to be broken. Because it's right now at a resistance, right? But we always want to know whether it has energy to break this particular resistance. So the answer would be if ever it's going to come down from this resistance, then it needs to get supported. The support is very important indication to tell me whether eventually price can break above that resistance, which is acting as a barrier right now. So let's take a look at Tencent and explain what I mean here. This is the weekly chart of Tencent 700.hk and uh, it moves up because it came to a support zone here. So this support zone was given by a previous uh, support zone that held very well. But at the same time, after moving up for a while, uh, it is right now near to a resistance zone. So this is expanded version. So here as a support given by a resistance and then another one more support. And likewise, we have a previous resistance and led and this led us to believe that around this level here is a very strong resistance. All right, now flipping to the day chart, we can see price being resisted here around the 310 level. As I said, the question to you is whether this particular resistance can be broken, especially on the uh, 15th of November, there will be a earnings and revenue for Tencent. So will these be broken, this particular resistance? All right, to find the answer, I would always assume that at the resistance price is likely to come down because then it faced with a resistance right but the key thing is whether the next support can it hold okay if it can hold at this support level here the support of 10 cents is about 296 to 300 dollars and whether this support here can be broken and how do i get this support now look at the previous round price was supported at this region here then became a resistance so if price is to come back down i will naturally assume that this would be a strong support for 10 cents at the same time the gap here would be closed as well by moving to this support now you can actually use this as a you know short-term trading because if you find a support and then if you still think that this is a very bullish movement for Tencent at this moment because price had moved up for a while then you might want to use this level here to do some short-term trading especially if it's near to its earning so let's take about one minute to see what kind of short-term trading instrument that you can use I'm right now at Sojen Society General website looking at the daily leverage certificates. If you're interested to trade into Tencent, Sojen has a wide list of DLCs on Singapore and Hong Kong stocks. And if you scroll down and search for Tencent, so this is Tencent, and by clicking search, you'll be able to find all the different 
uh, DLCs of uh, Tencent. And because I'm interested, for example, in the um, long, which is the bullish side of Tencent, so I'll click a daily long and then they'll be able to find out all the different daily long contracts. I will look for a star because the star means that these would be the most sensitive DLCs. So I click on the DLCs that I'm interested and I go under this price matrix here. So it will let me know what is the theoretical price of the DLCs should price move to $300. The very important lesson here is that naturally when price move up, there will be resistance, there will be barrier, there will be supply zone. Right, and then sometimes we saw that particular stocks keep going up and up and up. Will there be some clues to tell us that it will do so? And I think the very important clue is that the stock at zone of support it must get supported we need energy to move up that support will tell us that there are plenty of buyers there and then there are plenty of buyers to give the stocks that energy that boost right for price to continue to go up all right i hope that this lesson is useful for you simple tips here and there and if you are interested to get to know more of my lesson then remember to click the subscribe button and i recommend one video that you should be watching and that video is why traders are always missing out on big myth. It's also a very simple tip and you'd be surprised how simple this tip is and how important it is for you to secure big move for your trades.